You, you have more sway talking to God about these leaders than those who have one vote uh, inside those chambers. Hey, this is Tim bringing words of grace in front of the, uh, the UN building here. We'll take a little walk. Um, this one is, I know it's election time, and uh, so I wanted to give you four biblical principles that are, uh, that we should take into any election season. Uh, but even in times of up and down and world events, we should keep these four things in mind. Say, stay, obey, and pray. Okay? So, say. That's what Tuesday's all about, or vo early voting if you can. You can't complain if you don't vote, right? Uh, so, so use this responsibility. As Christians, we're responsible. Uh, I think of Paul using his citizenship. Um, it's, it's important for us to use uh, the the God-given authorities, rights, privileges we have as citizens to, to vote, but also to speak uh, your view to your representatives. Um, you can't, if you don't voice, who will? The next two are the two commands of Scripture regarding to human government. Obey. We don't like being told what to do, but the Bible does tell us in Romans 13 that we are to obey every, obey every government. Uh, these authorities that they are talking about were horrible, just horrid. Uh, think of them just ab abusing their power and um, using it to, to harm others. That, that was the norm. This was the, these were dictators. They had no vote at all. Um, and so even in that case, they, they were told to obey. Um, obey every government. Now, we know that when the authority tells us to do things that uh, God would uh, disagree or he would tell us not to do then we obey God rather than man that's that's given but uh, usually as much as possible lies within you live peaceably with all men and, and submit to these governing authorities that's what God tells us so no matter who's in charge here uh, we obey respectfully obey the third one is to to pray that's another command that we have uh, regarding our leaders is to to bring these people before God right and in, in doing that we have a, a whole lot of, of power authority here at the UN you, you have more sway talking to God about these leaders than those who have one vote uh, inside those chambers that's the same with any authority right we uh, leave that to God and, and know that he uh, he's in control and that's the fourth one right don't stress out we think of election times and, and even now all across the world there's there's different upheavals and uh, and, and stress and strain um, and yet we can we can acknowledge the fact that God is in control uh, when Nebuchadnezzar is in charge God is in control when Herod is in charge God is in control and and we we are stayed upon Jehovah and so that's a word we don't use much, but, but we rely upon, we rest upon, we stand upon God. And we are not resting upon our own wits or our own outcomes or even in our voting. God puts those in office. He wants in office. And you look at those who are in office, you're like, how in the world? But we don't, we don't, we just leave it in God's hands. You just leave it in God's hands, okay? So don't be anxious. Stop being anxious about these things brothers and sisters stop being so oh up and down based on these things rest in the sovereign hand of God I just am reading just finished Ezekiel reading through Daniel and it's just so clear how how he does what he wills he puts up kings he throws down kings he knows who's gonna be king in a hundred years from now and so uh, so so rest but then as you pray as you say as you obey, then just stay on the Lord and leave it in his hands. God bless you today.